pretty girl. Tell me, I don't mean to be forward. I was watching you and I was wondering, is there anyone in particular that you've got your eye on in this park? Yeah. Yeah? Would you mind telling me who it is? <laughs> Right on the coccyx, that poor girl. Mrs. Gentilly, two. Oh, hold on a second. I just might have a third coming up. Oh, my word. Oh, darn. Oh, phew. False alarm. Oh, ah. Coccyx? No, Margot. She winked at me. Oh, yeah? Well, isn't this a comedy of errors? Fred is lusting after this vixen like a child for an ice cream cone without even knowing if she prefers <laughs> vanilla or chocolate. Carol? Uh, I couldn't find the bathroom. <laughs> we have to go. Not just mm -hmm. yet, Paul. Not right away. I have to do something important for Fred. You're doing too much, Carol. Just one more to go. Mm hmm. You okay? Yeah. Sometimes you imagine things. Then you figure out it's not at all what mm -hmm. you thought. I don't think I'm gonna be working here very long. What do you mean? You have no choice. You signed for three months. I signed for what? Moldy. <laughs> I only asked you to tie your blades properly so that you don't trip. <laughs> hmm? How many times do I have to tell you that there's no eating or drinking on the ramps? As many times as you like, just shut up till we finish eating. <laughs> it came out my nostrils. <laughs> my rascal late husband, an amorous rendezvous in broad daylight? Isn't that extreme? <laughs> hey, you have a nice dog. But I'm afraid they're not allowed in the park because they don't know how to rollerblade. Oh. Come on, just a little one. A skinned knee or a slightly scratched elbow, anything. I didn't even say anything. I really don't want to tell hmm. you I told you so, but didn't I tell you so? Was I right or what? The older ones bug me. The little ones are terrified of me. I'm really sick of this. I've been had, that's for sure. Especially with regards to insurance coverage and other fringe benefits. Uh, <laughs> you? Carol? Were you about to frolic around with my late hubby? I would never have believed it. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I got the wrong bush. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> What's the matter, my sunshine? What are you doing here, Mother? I came to see how you were doing. I'm in too deep. I don't know what to do. I know, sunshine. A mother knows it all. But I'll get you out of it. I don't see how you possibly can. I'm working on having the skate park closed. Whoa. Isn't that a bit extreme? An extreme problem calls for an extreme solution, sunshine. Now, all I'm missing is a third injury. And we can close this den of iniquity. A third what? Iniquity? Are you nuts? Get me some rollerblades and let me break an ankle. Anything. No, oh, no. That Gentilly woman would smell a rat. Mm, see you soon, sweetie. <laughs> I think I'll be able to use the wonderful talents of Madame Butterfly. Help! My walker on wheels broke off the dazzling half pipe. My hip, somebody help an old lady. My hip, somebody help an old lady. Not too bummed out that you lost your job? Huh, no way. I had to work every night and on weekends. I wasn't allowed to refuse any overtime, no holidays, no sick days. I should have read my contract before I signed it. Mm-hmm. I'm so exhausted that I developed this nervous tick. I can't seem to stop winking. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, that would explain things. What? We weren't sure if the ice cream was chocolate or vanilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be great to have some free time. Especially because... The person I'm interested in is interested in me. It was a real pleasure meeting you all. Bye. Bye. See ya. Every cloud has its silver lining. A great mystery of the universe has been solved. We finally know that Panook is a boy. Not really. Hmm? The plot thickens. We don't know if Panook's a boy or a girl who likes vanilla. <laughs> Do you think I did 
too much this time, Sunshine? Yes, but for the first time, it actually helped. Now, we have to deal with your problem. I'll help you. What problem? My problem's solved. Don't play dumb with me. I know everything, Fred. Madam Butterfly saw it all in her rice. The granular substance, the red eyes, the bad influences. You're not serious, Mother. You don't think I was taking drugs? Don't say it! And don't deny it! It's a good thing I have proof. Hmm? Euphoria, lethargy, and if that wasn't enough, this is the little punk who supplies you with it. What is he giving you here, huh? Huh? A pack of chewing gum? Bah. Hi there, yeah. sweetheart. We're back. Oh, my poor baby. What's wrong with him? Looks like his eyes are red. A little boy at the park threw sand in his eyes and hit him with his bucket. Boo and me almost got in a fight. Uh, sand? And red eyes? <laughs> I guess that would mean that when Madam Butterfly said my son, uh, she was talking about Boo and me? I told you she was good, didn't I? There's just a slight adjustment to make when I cook the rice. I guess it is true that sometimes I try to do too much. Yeah, but I know why you do it. <laughs> well then, my work's not quite over, is it? I got a skate park to reopen. They say you gotta roll with the punches. Mm. Moldy expression. <laughs>